Welcome to Worldwide Broadcast Corporation, WWBC. Trust the experts at WWBC. Don't leave it to chance. Hey, watch out. Let me get a shot of that blood. Where are you watch taking us? Let me get a shot of that blood. things to say I had to about lie. somebody, Everything you make fun of somebody, oh, and when I turn around to confront you, you have nothing to say. I said but when I walk away, you start talking to me. Tough I said guy. I'm, I'm, I'm Real tough. Now, oh, did you just touch me? Drag him down. I want to see I want to see that. So what makes you want to vote for uh, Trump? Trump? I don't know. I want to make America great again, you know? Yeah, heard that. Why? What makes you want to vote for Trump? Strong, strength, strong as five, you know, strength that we need back in this country. We're just weak, too weak. And we need strength back in this country, and we need the country back. <laughs> okay. So that's, that's all I want to say about that. All right. No problem. Are so, you supporting her, too? I know it's obvious, but why aren't you supporting Trump? Because I don't support an attitude where you just hate people for no reason. All right. Thank you. There was a young man of Spanish descent that gave his opinion, and obviously it was against Trump. And then right behind him was like the lady from Driving Miss Daisy. It was like right there. She gave her opinion on why she liked Trump. And it was no problem. So who are you guys supporting? Bernie. Bernie. All right. You you know he's in a summit right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's in Argo High School. Oh yeah, he is. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Why? Why not Trump? I know it's obvious, but for I the think people, that's but for the people who I don't know, some brownish stuff going on here. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure he's a fan of that. So. All right. Thanks, uh, All right. Who do you support, ma'am? You don't mind me asking? Okay. Not a problem. What? What makes you support him? Because he's the only one that's gonna do something. Okay. I've been for 16 elections. You vote for him, you never do it. Trump's gonna do He's an outsider. Well, you know. I don't know. Depends oh. on what you mean by outside. Uh, he's not a politician. He's outside the politics. Right. He's outside the party. Okay, thank you, ma'am. So why are you guys opposed to Mr. Trump? He, he's banning Muslims from entering the country. He's racist. He he just he just drives off hate and he, he brings hate to this country and this country is a country of freedom. And we don't support that. Yes, it's everybody, America. Everybody should be treated equally. I mean, I think he was a good businessman. Mm -hmm. But I, I think, yeah, I think there's, I think it's time for a change. All right, good. I think it's time for a change. And I like the slogan, Make America Great Again. That's a heck of a slogan. Uh, I'm all about that. I'm all about seeing America become great again. Um, I'm not sure how he's going to be able to affect some of the other issues that we have. I think that uh, in the last few years there's been uh, a lot of a lot of interracial tension. Mm -hmm. I think it's been greater than ever. And um, you know, my brother is my brother is married to an African American woman, and we have a, we have a multiracial family. And uh, I really I really hate seeing um, the racial divide in America. I want to see America become strong. I want to see America become united. If I have to be honest. Uh, I'm going to say that I'm undecided on the candidates, but I'm leaning very, very, very heavily towards Bernie Sanders. For the simple fact, he supports the 99%, and I'm a part of the 99%. Um, I don't make enough money to be a part of the 1%. I don't make over $250 million. So, therefore, I have to support the candidate that supports me. Um, but I do want to hear what this um, 
all the Neanderthal, Neanderthal has to say, mm -hmm. um, because maybe he will say something that will pique my interest, which I seriously, seriously doubt. Uh, I don't think we speak the same, lang same language. I speak English, and he speaks uh, ne Neanderthal language. So uh, I don't know if I'll even be able to understand him, but I do want to hear what he has to say. All right, thank you very much, sir. All right, Reagan. R bring Reagan and Bush. <laughs> That was the dream team, huh? <laughs> the glory days. <laughs> Back in the days. That's before I was around. I know that's sure. right. So who you supporting and why? Uh, you know, I haven't haven't made an official decision. Came out to see uh, see what they're all about and then make a decision based on what I see. Okay, I like that. That's what's up. All right, take it easy. Right now we're going to media check in. We started at about two thirty. And just to be early, we got there at around 2. We're going to wait in line for about 30 minutes. And we're going to hop in and out of line, get a couple of interviews, get some B-roll. The three of us get separated. Now, I actually went on the website, as you can see from the picture, and I signed Don Kelly, the older gentleman, up for a press pass. And I also signed myself up. Don Kelly's name was in the system. He was able to get in, get his press pass, no problem. But the lady at the check-in actually didn't want to give me a press pass. She claimed my name was not on the form, like I didn't submit it. And you could clearly see my name here. And also, the guy that I signed up was on the uh, media list. So if he was, and he's f with my company, why wasn't I given access? She gave me a hard time, but I said, hey, I got one guy in anyway. I get some footage outside, which actually turned out to help me a lot because I got some of the best footage. I don't think physical is the word, but they're getting a little bit more aggressive with each other. And you'll see a, a Trump supporter just chanting Trump, 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 right in her face. <laughs> you want to go on film and say your perspective? Or you want to say your perspective? On what? On Trump. Yeah, I like him. I okay. think he'll do great things for America. I mean, we're $19 trillion in debt after all. None of these other politicians seem to care or do anything about it. Every year they get voted in and nothing ever changes, so why not change things up? You think him being an outsider will help him or hurt him? That'll help him. Will, will people, people are sick and tired of both establishments, so an outsider is really desirable. So. Will people in Congress work with him? I mean, he's spent his entire life doing deals, not in this country, but other foreign countries as well. So I think he'll be able to crank out a deal, yes. I think he'll work alongside both Democrats and Republicans. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. To be fair, the Donald Trump protesters also were getting a little bit energetic. Trump man, Trump man, he make that stupid face. 
Trump man, Trump man, Trump man, all that money that you got from your daddy was a waste Cause you ain't going in the race, you see it on my face All I gotta do is shine in the sun and I blaze right out the pavilion Yeah, yeah, you know we chillin' there and I be with my friends It's a revolution, you know we got the solution And that's peace and love and not hate You can see it in my face, I'ma say it every day I'm like Trump man, Trump man, Trump man, you ain't going in the race I'm like, Saying all that retarded crap, you're actually gonna believe all that? Come on, Americans, what do we stand for? Somebody that's oh. great? He ain't great. Deport him. Deport Trump. We're standing here with all these great people, hardworking people. From about 5.30 to 6.30, the protesters grew. And it was originally supposed to just be in a parking lot, but so many people showed up that it spell out into the streets. So these people are waiting in line to get in and they're about to be told that uh, the auditorium is at max capacity. And once that happens, even more people are going to go to the protest. Who you guys going for? The Illuminati. Other than him. Other than the broke Mac Miller. Who are you guys going for? Mr. Trump just arrived in Chicago and after meeting with law enforcement has determined that for the safety of all the tens of thousands of people that have gathered in and around the arena, tonight's rally will be postponed until another day. Thank you very much for your attendance and please go in peace. As soon as the news spread that Donald Trump shut down the rally, that's when the crowd went crazy. Who shut it down? We shut it down. 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 We shut it down. Uh, Mr. Trump, why did you say go get a job when you're saying you're going to bring jobs? You, you recognize these kids, young people sometimes, of all groups, don't have jobs. Why did you mock the guy today and say go get a job? Uh, because, frankly, he was a very nasty guy. Uh, he was somebody that was giving us, he was very, very loud, very boisterous, and he was swinging his fists. And uh, he just looked to me like somebody that, frankly, uh, maybe he did have a job, maybe he didn't, I don't really know. But it was just something I said. Nothing wrong with saying it. Go get a job. She went to grade school with this guy, and I happened to run into him before the rally, and I took a picture of him. And he's actually a pastor. He does have a job. I am not saying fight. I am, I am supporting the 
the Chicago Police Department. Yeah, somebody else there. I am not a cop. Why are you supporting? They don't need your help. They're all trained and armed like people. Did you see They are trained. You see, there were plenty of uh, police supporters and Trump supporters that actually got in the middle of the crowd and were able to be heard and no violence happened towards me. Basically, what started the riot and the fighting was one overzealous uh, police officer. She was actually a woman. And she just hit somebody in the head with a billy club. A random protester. Um, and she hit him. When that happened, all hell broke out. Hey, watch out. Let me get a shot of that blood. Where are you watch taking us? Let me get a shot of that blood. You see that? Let me get a shot of that blood. You see that? God! Let me get a shot of that blood. Chicago PD? They hit him in the head with the bat. They hit him in the head with the bat. Tell us what happened. What happened? Who saw? He got hit in the head. They hit him in the head with the bat. They hit him in the head with the bat.
As far as I know, it was a woman named Greer or an African American female cop who hit him with a billy club and threw him to the ground. I promise. Yeah, absolutely. that the UIC pavilion is connected to a parking structure. So the protesters figured out everybody leaving this parking structure had to either be a Trump supporter or with Trump, uh, part of the people that put on the event. So they actually ran to the parking structure and the police had to escort these people to their car. And the police actually blocked me in where I couldn't get anywhere and they completely shut down our parking structure where people couldn't get inside. Now what happened is some protesters went on the roof and started spitting on us. And this is where I have to admit and apologize, but this is where I actually lost it and got into it with some protesters. Now I had been out there for about seven hours. I had witnessed an innocent person brutally getting beat up by the police officer and I got spit on. So at that point, I had enough, I lost it, and hey, what, what happens next I, is what happens. I want to see y'all drag him down, like y'all drag the black guys down. Drag him down. I want to see, I want to see that. Whoa, whoa, that's the name, homie. Bees. No, it's funny. Yeah. No, it's funny. The flag went in the face. Yeah, okay. All right. It was funny as hell. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, you want to Yeah, yeah, you shouldn't be one. You shouldn't be one. Well, we shouldn't be white people in Chicago. Yeah, you shouldn't be. You're right. You got something else to say? No, I'm just saying. Well, then don't say nothing. Shut up. Shut up. Why are you getting in my face, Calm down, Because you're dude. talking crap. I'm not talking crap, Yes, you man. are. What, what's your issue, Now, dude? all of a sudden, when I'm walking what? away, you want to say something. I said everything. But when I'm in I'm your face, everything. you don't want to say nothing. Dude, calm That's down. What I'm I thought. an underage child. That's what I thought. That's exactly what you thought is correct, bro. Exactly. That's what I thought. That's what you thought is correct. Now, keep talking as I walk away. Pardon my back. I will. I will continue to talk. That was me. You didn't do that. You didn't even make fun of a nigga. You know what? You have ignorant things to say about somebody. You make fun of somebody. And when I turn around to confront you, you have nothing to say. But when I walk away, you start talking again. Tough guy. Real tough. Now, did you just touch me? Okay. I apologize for touching you then. All right, whatever. But no, I'm going to continue to talk. Enjoy the rest of your evening. You too, sir. Have a great day. Respect. See, you just, you, you just had to fucking take it there. You I'm couldn't not on just that. shut the fuck up. <laughs> you don't even know what I said, You couldn't I'm just on. shut the fuck up respect and let it go. Both ways. You had to get that last fucking word. Respect both ways. I'm not, I'm not on the side. Respect. Man, fuck no you. One like, no one likes respect. Like, like, stop talking shit then. I like respect. Respect's not talking shit. That's not nice. right. I said nice respect. Person. Well, he respect. needs to stop talking. I don't care who, how he nice he is. He's side. still talking. I'm on your side. Respect. Now I'm about to go up here and get a shot. So. Nothing violent, but they spitting on us. Did they get him? Hell no, they ain't got him. What up, what up? Everybody. How we doing? They got him? You got him? They got him? Alright, good, good. Winning. Alright. They were spitting down there. Both ways. That's why I'm here. Camilla. You only left. I don't think these Neanderthals. Yeah, what, what's, your, what's your name? They Neanderthal. I'm Nina. Okay, he was making fun of one of y'all names. And I was just confronting them. Who? Who said this? Oh, no, just dumb over there. Who? What? No, it's crushed. It's cool, man. It's cool, man. It's good. It's good. No, it's nothing. It's nothing. No, we good. I will give some of the blame on Mr. Trump, some of the blame on the Chicago Police Department. 
And we also have to take responsibilities for our own actions, as I had to do. And I also went to a Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders rally later that week. And it was a lot more peaceful. Just so you know, Chicago isn't always violent. Hillary Clinton actually went to one of the most violent areas in Chicago, the South Side, Chicago, known as Roseland. As one said to me, they want to turn their sorrow into a strategy and their mourning into a movement. Yes. To do everything we can together to prevent any other mother or father or anyone else from seeing a name of his on those stones. I'm supporting Bernie Sanders because um, I think Bernie Sanders is the only dude that has been fighting for civil rights for black people, for poor people, for for the people, for his whole career. Um, and I think that if you look around this place, which I'm sure you'll have videos of, you'll find black people, Asians, Hispanic, or that's not correct, whatever, you know, this dude's a Native American, I'm a Jew, you know what I'm saying? Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, and we're all together for and we're not fighting each other. We're we're here to support some love, and I think all the other all the other people are filled with hate, and uh, I think that's really all it comes down to is that this is a movement of love, and everybody else is really just hateful people. I consider myself a peaceful person, and if I'm able to get taken to that point, I can just imagine what um, other protesters that were already outraged especially Hispanic protesters, how they felt about what was going on with the situation because they're actually being targeted. So if I had to put the, the fault on anybody, I will say a overly aggressive Chicago Police Department mixed with just, just a terrible situation. Nobody expected this to happen. And I think if Donald Trump actually did show up, it would have been 10 times worse, unfortunately. It's not always what you say, it's how you say it.